Good morning. Need to clean up the board. Uh, hope you're all well. I'll leave this video running just for a few minutes till we get everybody up and running. Clean, clean, clean. There we go. Who have we got on this morning? Let's have a little look. We've got Ati, good morning. Mahayman, good morning. Yusuf M, good morning. Why are you saying start? I guess probably because it was time. Aidan, good morning. Rita, good morning. Good morning from Daoud. Islam, good morning. Oh gosh, these are all popping up so quickly. Morning, Omar. Good morning, Noah. Uh, good morning, Harris. Um, oh, let me just go and see if I've got Mr. Hack one second. Good morning, guys. No, he's gone. Who else have we got there? Good morning, Naba. Good morning. I've forgotten who Niggy Niggs is. Don't forget to put your name down, please. Good morning. Saren, good to see you. Morning. One more sub, then a thousand subs. Oh, we've gone back down. We're not a thousand anymore, my goodness. It fluctuates quite a lot, doesn't it? We need a solid kind of 1,100 so that we're not always going up and down on the um, channel. Where is it? Click your channel. Let's have a little look. 999 subscribers. Ah, we've gone all the way down again. Yeah, they're not letting me still use my camera. I think you need to stay at 1,000 for a, a while before they let me do that, because I did try this morning. Good morning, Arifa. Good morning, Isa. Well done for being online. Isa, how's your work going? Haven't seen any being emailed to me or sent on Google Classroom. Good morning, Musa. Good morning, Harris. Morning, Alima. Morning, Labib. Morning, Ahil. Uh, hey, Zimu. Hey, who else have we got there? Renuma. Good morning, Miss Jordan from Renuma. Renuma, wait, are you not here? What are you doing? You're not outside in the snow. Ah. Good morning. Uh, to everybody else. Who else have we got? Year five? Yes, year five. Of course they're allowed. Who else? Who is asking that? I don't even know where the question is. Can't hear you. Might need to change your sound settings. Who else have we got? Good morning. To six, seven, seven videos. Uh, hi, sir. Hey, Tahira. Good to see you. Renume, you should be at school, meant to be there every day, aren't you? Are you just at home enjoying the snow then? Good morning, Anas. Morning, Alima. Uh, Alamin. Alamin? Good morning, Amara. Someone needs to subscribe. Everybody needs to subscribe. Look at that, we're at 999. Can you believe we're uh, not quite... We're 997. Are people unsubscribing, like, right now? Mine still says 999. It's gone back up to 1,000. Someone has to, the thing is YouTube, I think we have to stay at one over 1,000 for a certain amount of time because they're still not letting me use my phone. So we're gonna have to see if you can get family and friends to subscribe as well. Well then, it's all, hey Ryan, yeah, good morning. It's all you guys who are doing this. This is your YouTube channel. So you know, the more that you push it, the better your things become. I was hoping at some point, it'd be quite cool if we could try and monetize. Maybe the money that we get from the YouTube channel, we can spend on things in school. Well, I don't think it'll be much money, but, I've got a video now. I think one of the videos I've posted, it's got over 10,000. Um, let's have a little look. What's it called? Yeah. Um, oh, no, not quite 10,000. I've got one video that's got 9.6 thousand views. Um, it'd be quite good if we can work out how to make the best sort of YouTube video to get loads of views, some clickbait. Maybe we need different pictures on the front, all sorts of things like that. Yeah, I thought we, we did reach 1,000, then it went back down, it's going up, it's fluctuating around. Yeah, it is amazing. Um, bum, bum, bum. Where is everyone? Is that what we're going to say, Muna? Going to the toilet, that's fine. Thanks for letting me know. Good morning, Abdul. Abdullah, good to see you. Abdullah Khan. Tabas here, good to see you. Morning, Zabarul. Uh, 
Morning, Mohammed Mood. Clickbait. Yeah, we need some good clickbait, don't we? No, you don't want clickbait? I could film some bloopers. Do you think that would be good clickbait? We should have a little competition, right? I'll tell you what, this would be quite a good one. How about I set you this as a task? Your job is to see if you can make some YouTube videos with the sole intention of getting hits and subscribers. Now, mind you, they're going to be, they don't want to be too needy. Could be poems, could be songs, could be actions, could be making things like how to guide, life hacks, something like that. I was talking to the boys in 3J. They were thinking about maybe being able to boil an egg. You know, some basic life skills would be really good, wouldn't they? You don't have to, it's an option. You can send the videos in and maybe we can post them. I've got some really, we've posted some really good videos from uh, year three people already that we've popped online, which are really good. Yeah, we've just gone back up to a thousand, haven't we? Yeah, Yusuf, don't worry, no one's forcing you. Good morning, Sultan Sanja. good to see you. Morning to Samuel. Morning, uh, Salah. You woke up at 5.45. I was up at 5.45 too. It was a good time to be up. Me and my family are, have been doing lots of baking. Renuma will send me some pictures of it then, please. I'd love to see some of the baking you've been doing. I've been getting some lovely pictures of baking. Some people have been making banana bread. We've been doing that. Aeon, if you're on, I want to see your banana bread. Some people have been making cupcakes. People have been doing all sorts of things. As today is, of course, well, it isn't an official snow day. Snow Official snow day is when school is closed and you get to go and have fun. It's not, unfortunately, school hasn't closed. Well, I don't mean unfortunately. Sat happily, school hasn't closed. But look... That's what it looks like outside. You can see the kids have already been running around and doing it. In fact, actually, the snow is already melting. I can see that it's uh, melting. I don't know if you can see here, if I try and keep it still. Can you see that there's patches of black, and then those patches are getting bigger and bigger and bigger? Look, patches that are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Can anyone remember from yesterday, why does the snow melt in these patches? If you look, I don't know if you can see over here, got these little circle whoop, patches that are growing out bigger and bigger and bigger. Why does the snow melt in these kind of circles and patches? I did tell you yesterday. Um, can anyone remember? I'm gonna just see if I can take this outside and we can have a look, look in the snow. Yeah, it is snow. Good morning, Samuel again. Can anyone remember why does the snow melt in these patches? We did talk about it, we did mention it yesterday. And there's a reason why it's happening. Anyone remember? Oh gosh, going out this direction is not a good idea. It's all melted over there. I'm gonna go back down this way and see if we can come out this way. Have enough over here. I'll keep walking. Who has mentioned the sun? Now, obviously, the sun does warm it up, but there's something to do with this particular ground. Something to do with the colour of the ground that I mentioned yesterday. It is the sun. You're right. In fact, look at that. It's uh, melted a lot, hasn't it? Snow stopped falling. See, there's a lot of snow on top of the... Uh, I'm hoping that we don't get disconnected. We've got all this lovely, lovely snow on here. Wowzers. Gosh. It's very, it's very fluffy, lovely looking snow. Very light. In fact, I don't know if the camera will zoom on in it very well but you can really see the little individual snowflakes. We're actually gonna make a snowflake today. Let's get this back in, inside. Trouble is, it's not very cold today. Believe it or not, even though the snow feels cold outside, it doesn't feel very cold. Uh, what have we got? Black, absolutely, is that Dawood? Yeah. So black it absorbs heat uh, much better than other materials. And um, so if you left on a sunny day and you put a, a white stone on the ground and a black stone and you pick them up later, the black stone would be significantly hotter. Black absorbs the sunlight. That's why it doesn't reflect back light. It takes it all in. White light things reflect light. So when there's one little area of black on the ground, what happens is that relatively becomes slightly warmer from the sun because it's absorbing more heat which means because that area is warmer, then that spreads and spreads and spreads. And that's why you end up with those kind of spot. Yeah, you can look over there where it's melted and you see there are spots uh, of black that are growing out in kind of circles. 
Yeah, and you can see these lot of spots. I know some of them are footprints, but a lot of those is where just one little bit of black is showing. And then when the sun comes out, that warms up quicker than all the surrounding areas. Now, this is actually um, an important fact to know about the different um, absorption rate of colors. The reason is, uh, with global warming, as you know, with climate change, please don't spam the chat. With climate change, um, the north and south of the world, as you know, are covered in a sheet of ice. Well, what is happening as that ice melts, the ground is obviously being revealed. Now you'd think, okay, well that's bad, but actually it's even worse than you imagine. So what we would normally expect, let's say as temperatures rise, so here's my chart of temperatures rising, okay? As temperatures rise over time, so I'll put down here, this is gonna be time, and this over here is going to be temperature, you would expect, conversely, the amount of, let me see which one of these pens is going to work, this one with, you would expect that the amount of ice, let's say that this is ice over here, you would expect the amount of ice to just slowly decrease, wouldn't you? You would expect that ice would slowly decrease. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it onto a, a separate graph. Um, that's what you would expect, and then you would expect the ice to slowly decrease. Amount of ice, amount of ice, and down here again on the x-axis is going to be time. Those are the two graphs that we would expect. So this is overall temperature, and this is amount of ice down at the bottom. However. It doesn't work like that. That's not how, yeah, Mohammed Mood, please do not spam anymore or you will get blocked. Um, it doesn't work like that because what's happening, the temperature goes up, the ice begins to melt, okay? So ice melts. Now what happens, the ground underneath the ice is often a lot darker. It might be on rock, for example, or it might be on the sea. Now, darker materials, as you know, absorb more heat more quickly. So the ground spreads and actually what happens it starts like that and then very quickly it kind of bends downwards, okay? And the amount of ice much quicker uh, goes, reduces. So it would look a bit more like, like this. It reduces at a much quicker rate. And actually the temperature doesn't just go up at a steady rate, it does the opposite as well. It increases significantly more. So this long period of time, the temperature only went up from here to here. So let's say this was 10 years, yeah? In another 10 years, here's another 10 years, the temperature has gone from here all the way up to here, okay? As time is increasing, the temperature of the Earth is going up quicker and quicker and quicker. The amount of ice is reducing faster and faster and faster and faster. If you think about ice and snow, snow is white. White reflects heat very, very, uh, well, sunlight very, very well. It's like this protection. It bounces the sunlight off. As it melts, that thing that bounces all the heat and sunlight off is gone. And suddenly the ground absorbs the heat, holds the heat even more. So it's, it's called exponential growth. The more the time goes on, the more it increases. It's getting worse and worse and worse at a faster, faster rate. I'm not sure if all of that made complete sense. But yeah, Husseina said, the more intense the sunlight, the faster it melts. These drop causes the melting in the upper snow layers. Yeah. And as the snow leaves the ground, the ground is exposed. The ground is darker. The darker ground absorbs more heat, warms the ground further, and increases the speed of the snow melting. Oh, my goodness. Without pictures, it's a little bit hard. How come the snow is white? Can't it be another color? Well, it would be another color if you... Mm. Um, snow isn't white, actually. It's completely see-through, but it's just a little bit of an optical illusion, the way that the, um, the light is reflecting off it. It makes it look white. So it's a little bit like uh, a polar bear. A polar bear isn't actually white, but, in, but the way that the light reflects off it makes it look white. So I guess technically it kind of is white. But if you took a polar bear hair, you wouldn't get a white hair. You'd get a see-through kind of hair. Mr. Jordan, I'm using my mum's phone. Good. Just because I don't play with you, I'll play together on Friday, says Tabor. 
that's important work conversation, isn't it? Ramzan says, Mr. Jordan, I'm using my mum's phone. Okay, that's fine. Um, snow is made out of ice. Absolutely. Individual snow. In fact, we're going to make, we're going to make a snowflake today. Well, not a real one, but we're going to make one out of paper. That would be quite a useful thing to do. Could you, I don't need all these comments here. Try and focus on the important things. It is transparent. It's actually transparent. Slight different spelling attic, but I know exactly what you're trying to say. Um, yeah, if you put food coloring on it, it'd be a different color. And there's all sorts of other things you can do. Maybe you can make snow yellow if you did something. I've seen that where dogs go and we it looks yellow below, doesn't it? Right, focus. Uh, what are we talking about? Ah, oh, yes. What I'd like you to do, could you make sure, if, well, don't make sure, but if you can, please, could you see if you can find yourself a piece of paper, just an A4 piece of paper. Seeing as it's snowing today, I thought it might be quite nice if we make some snowflakes at the very, very end. Okay, so if you can find a piece of paper somewhere, that would be really, really handy. Um, doesn't have to be a big piece of paper, it can be a small piece of paper, um, but one of those, uh, especially near the end, would be really, really good. But um, don't worry about it right now, we will focus on a bit of maths first. Oh no, what am I talking about? A bit of news first, we always start with the news. Unfortunately, the printers in school are not working today, so I can't print off any children's work. There has been some fantastic stuff, oh my goodness. I was just looking at something that Anna sent me, he sent me, um, he did a, a character profile on grandma with a picture of grandma, which is really nice. Now I was expecting it to be ones from um, the story, uh, Gangster Granny, but you know what? I love it so much. These profiles of people are fantastic with some really good pictures. Hopefully if the printer is working next time we're on, I can print all of these up and show you. Mr. Jordan, Ramzan is my phone account. Mom's, yeah, it's okay, don't worry, don't worry. Um, so, uh, news is what I was going to say. It's the first thing. So I guess number one thing is snow, snow, snow. Shall we take a little look? Um, and we'll have a little look over here at some of the amazing scenes of snow that have been going on. Um, and, oh my goodness, talking about snow, somebody who snows what's going on, it's Mr. Keeling. Hello, everyone. How are you? What are we learning about? Google Classroom is fine. That's good to hear. Wow. Did you subscribe? I just joined the live right now. I couldn't find paper. Hi. All right, tell me what you know about snow then. Mr. Jordan seems to be talking about snow. What has he taught you about snow? Did you know that every single uh, snowflake is a different shape? There's no two snowflakes the same. Uh, no more hate. Thank you. Mr. Keeling looks younger. No, he's just had a shave. You do look really young and fresh. Thank you. Yeah. I had some sleep after the 24 oh, hours. Sleep too. So since we're talking about snow, it seems only right to sing Frozen, doesn't it? It does. Please, let's go. The snow blows cold on the mountain tonight. Not a to be seen. A kingdom of isolation. And it looks like I'm the queen. The more intense the sunlight, the faster it melts these drops, then cause some melting in upper snow layers. Well, that's far beyond what I know. We were talking about how darker materials absorb more light and increase the heat, so that actually, as the snow is melting from the cat, it's exponentially, it's getting hotter. We were talking about the difference between an exponential graph and a direct line graph, but then I realised that it wasn't really year three syllabus. But no, I mean, it was that's fun bit, anyway. It I fun. enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Well, after 11 o'clock today, I'll be talking all kinds of modern space travel. So that's what's oh, going on. Oh, so please can we tune in for Mr. Keeling's uh, lesson at 11 o'clock. We'll be learning all about space travel. Fantastic. That sounds really, really exciting. Right. Anything else that we'll be learning, sir? Uh, oh, we're going to have a vote on Friday's lesson. So I'm going to do another live stream on Friday. and It's a holiday special. Basically, I'll teach whatever is the most popular thing. Oh, I love it. I, I might do something like that as well. We could have a whole morning full of just whatever they want. Yeah, whatever they want. I tried dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Okay. They do love dinosaurs. I tried dinosaurs. No, I think I failed. It could be Stone Age. It could be whatever they want. We'll do something. Okay. Right, let's get back to this. So we have snow that has been going up and down the country. Look at how much snow has been falling. We have not been getting a much in Birmingham. I thought I'd show you some pictures. Here is a, a river in a place called Leith uh, near Edinburgh. We've got more people who've been uh, sledging. I love sledging so much. What fun that is. Uh, oh, it's not actually that much. It says that the temperature has been dropping to minus 15 in some places up in Scotland. That is so cold. As you know, water freezes at zero. Yes, so 
the second it's going below that, things must be getting really, really cold. Um, how you do space time is something faster than light. Maybe these are questions you could ask him. There is not a lot of snow in Birmingham, unfortunately. We don't get very great snow. One of the reasons I was talking to you about yesterday, and I don't know if the video is still here, so I can't uh, show it. I need to be careful showing too much BBC stuff or else they do me for copyright. But um, here's our picture of Britain. You can see up north, of course, they're gonna have more snow in the Northern Hemisphere because it's closer to the cold places. And if you remember that wind from the east is pouring in from up here, from where Russia, Norway, places like that. So it's making their cold. The thing is, we've also got this warm air that comes down at the bottom. So actually, if you look at the bottom part here, Cardiff and, and, and Birmingham and this area that we're in is staying quite warm because the warm air is sort of hitting against the cold air that's coming in like this. I don't know if I'm covering that. So unfortunately, we're not going to get great snow, which is really, really sad. But um, oh well. Uh, what else was there I was going to say? Oh, I know. I was keeping you updated on what's been going on in Myanmar, which used to be called Burma, of course. And the protests have been going on and on and on. Because I can't print things out, I'm going to have to show you on here. So let's go back to home. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. So, oh, no, that's the American fighting. Here, it's, do you remember yesterday I showed you that, um, okay, oh, uh-oh, oh no, uh, I've been signed up. Mr. Keeling, have you signed in on my computer? What, sorry? Have you just signed in? No, why? Oh, someone signed me out. This is your computer anyway. Two seconds, children, I'll sign back in on here so I can show you. Oh, should we swap over? Do you want to swap right now? Yeah, I'll get you yours. Okay. Tell you what, I'll come back and show you what's been happening in Myanmar later. Basically, um, there have been, as you know, all the violent, well, not violent, but peaceful protests to start with. The police started getting angry last night. Unfortunately, the police started firing rubber bullets at them. What? What is your background? Uh, it's Ariana Grande. Why have you got Ariana Grande on your? I mean, I don't even know who what wouldn't, that is. Who wouldn't have Ariana Grande? Right, let's go. We're going to do some. Um, it is a pop star, so yes. Right, let's go and do some maps. Time for some maps. I'll get the uh, Myanmar stuff up later, if you still want to see. Right, where are we? Maths, okay. Now, we have been looking at perimeter, perimeter, perimeter. And remember, I say perimeter, perimeter. It is the distance all the way around the outside of a shape, if you remember what perimeter is. Imran, please do not spam the chat. Uh, perimeter, so for example, if I had this shape here, okay, and I said this is three, this is five, uh, this is five, two, three, two, I would have to count all of the different sides of the shape. So I've got three plus five is eight, uh, well, five and five is 10 plus three is 13, plus three is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and the perimeter would be 20. Uh-oh, 20 what? 20 elephants, 20 monkeys. I'd have to make it clear what each of these measurements are. So it could be 20 centimeters. That is the perimeter of the whole shape. It's all the way around the outside. Well, today we're looking at something a little bit different, okay? We are looking at something known as area. Now, it is still to do with shapes. And if perimeter is all the way around the outside of a shape, what do you think area might be? So perimeter is all the way around the outside of a shape. What might area be? Anyone got a clue? Hmm. Any guesses? Inside, Anas has said. Area on the inside, Harris has said. Very good, those of you who are guessing. Yeah, it is how much space is in here, okay? How much space is in here? Perimeter being the outside, okay? So you imagine running around the football pitch. If I ran all the way around the outside of the football pitch, that is what the perimeter is, the outside of it. The area then is the space on the inside. It's how much space all that kind of grass takes up. I kind of think of it like... Um, if I was drawing a line around my bedroom, all the way around the wall, that line would be the perimeter of the, of the room. 
But the carpet on my floor, the carpet is the area. So if I was buying carpet, I'm going to close the door because there's all sorts of members of staff outside. One second. So the carpet would be the space on the ground. The area on the ground is uh, the area, how much room on the ground. So why might I need to know area? Well, I might be once again building a house and I might only have a certain area to build it in, a certain amount of space in which I can build. It could be, again, I could be planting a field. I could be doing all sorts of things. Can we please stop chatting? Uh, well, now I look momentarily at the chat and it's just full of um, emojis and people putting random things. Yeah, try and focus on what's important. Who is Imran even? I don't even know who, come on, stop making all of these comments or I'm gonna to have to start um, deleting you up here. We need to say nice things when we're on here. Imran, no more spamming please. Okay, or else you're gonna get blocked from the chat. Um, so, how am I gonna work out area? Interesting, let's have a look at this. The area of this square here, let's say this is one centimeter by one centimeter. Hmm. The area of this, this is one centimeter square. Now, this is the important little symbol here. When we did perimeter, because it's a straight line, we would just say, we would just use the unit of measure. But when we measure area, we actually measure area in squares. Hmm. How unusual is that? We're actually using squares to measure area. So let's say this here, here I have one centimeter square. The area of this shape here is just one centimeter square on the front. If I turned this into two centimeters by two centimeters, hmm, how many squares can you now see? So my shape has now changed. I've got two centimeters by two centimeters. How many squares can you see on this shape if it is two centimeters by two centimeters? How many squares can you see? You can see uh, four squares. Absolutely right. Yeah, four squares. In fact, we would call this, and I'm going to draw it for you so we can see what it looks like. So this is two centimeters along the top, one centimeter, another centimeter, by one centimeter, one centimeter. I have now got four centimeters squared. Four centimeters squared. Imran, I'm sorry, I put you on a timeout. You can't comment now. So four centimeters squared is the important thing. So if you want to put a little two afterwards, then that you can see what it looks like. Hmm, interesting. There's some maths that's going to help us to work out area. Uh, let me show you another one. Let's say I've got this shape here. Um, I'm just going to go up slowly. I've got three centimeters by three centimeters. So I'll tell you what, I'll draw the squares out for you and I'll show you what it looks like. So up here, we've got three by three. And you can see each one of these is one centimeter by one centimeter. But my whole thing is three centimeters by three centimeters. So how many squares have I got? What would the area of this shape be? Does anyone think they can work out what the area of that shape is? Don't worry if you're late, it's, as long as you're here. Ah, Abdullah Khan has come up with a mathematical equation to help us, which is really helpful. Dropping stuff all over the place, oh my goodness. Very good. This now becomes nine centimeters squared. The equation to find out area is, it is the length times the width, L times W, okay? The length is three centimeters, the width is three centimeters, Three times three shows me the area of the shape, okay? And let's say if I had this one here, I'm just gonna make a little mini three by three um, block. It's gonna take me two seconds to click all of these beads together. And there we go. You can see on my square now that I've got three centimeters here, 
three centimeters there, the area is three centimeters squared. I measure it in squares, okay? Right, tell you what then, I've got a little bit of a challenge for you. I'm gonna do a rectangle, and I wonder if any of you can work out what you think the area of this rectangle is going to be. Okay, this here is three centimeters. This here is four centimeters. The answer is going to be in centimeter squares. How many centimeters squared am I gonna have in this rectangle? I've not drawn the squares in yet. I'm wondering if you can think of an equation to answer the area of this. Don't worry if you don't understand, I'll keep going over it. Slowly but surely, we'll get there. We'll edge our way into understanding. What do we think the area of that shape is? Oh, lots of people now coming up with some ideas of 12 centimeters squared. Let's just check then, shall we? Uh, let's have a look. So I'm going to draw, this is the three centimeters down here. This is four centimeters along the top, okay? Each of these is a centimeter squared. Okay, this is what one centimeter square looks like. It is a square, which is one centimeter by one centimeter. This is how we measure area, remember, in squares. That's why we call it squared. How many squares have I got? Well, I've got three lots of four, haven't I? So I've got 12 centimeters squared. I did length times width to find out the area of the shape, okay? Are we slowly starting to understand this a little bit more? Tell you what, I'll give you another shape. Let's see if you can do it for this one. Um, or oh, let's have a nice tricky one, shall we? Let's have um, about seven uh, by six, okay? Seven multiplied by six. What do we think the area of this shape is going to be? Well done, those of you who are really, really good at this. I love area. It's so simple, isn't it? Once you've got the plan, once you know the little tricks and tips, then it's quite simple. Aman, yes. Ayab, yeah, very good. Khalid, very good. Well done. Very good. Yeah, remember, it is length times width to find it out. And so many of you are getting this right. I'm going to draw all these in and let's see if we've got this right. One. Okay, let's just check. We've got seven centimeters along the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got six centimeters down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six multiplied by seven, because I've got six squares here. I've got seven rows of six. And the answer would be 42 centimeters squared. Tell me, give me a little, do you know what? The snow is starting to come down quite nicely outside. I'll go and show you what it looks like. How do we feel about this general idea? What's Khadija put there? Aesthetics, aesthetics, and cool and very good friend. I love you so much. Khadija, could we focus on writing stuff to do with maths, please? Um, how do we feel about this concept of, now there's no plussing, no plussing, Ismail, but maybe you put the, the plus instead of the times. How do we feel about this concept of area? And would anyone like to explain? I'll tell you what, I'd like a sentence from you. Could you explain to me the difference between area and perimeter. So what is the difference between area and perimeter? Does anyone think that they can explain that to me? The difference between area and perimeter. Bad. Fatimata is finding it tricky. Fatimata, is that Fatimata? Who, who, who's on that name? So I want the difference between perimeter and area. When can we do our snowflake, Ava? Ava, are you able to do area? That is the priority. Snowflake is a nice little addition. Understanding area is a priority. Do you understand area, Ava? Saren, right, Saren. Would you shout to me in the middle of the lesson, sing? I don't think you would. Right, look, let's have a look at some of these. What's Omar said? Omar has said, our area is inside, perimeter is the length of the shape. Mm. We've got to be careful. 
Perimeter isn't quite the length. I'm really glad you said that because it means I can pick on it. Okay, here is a piece of paper. This is the length of the piece of paper. It's just that one side from here to here. In fact, from here to here, anywhere from here to here is the length. Okay, so it's not quite length. Perimeter is the outside of the shape. Area is the inside of the shape. I like that one from Anas. I'm going to the toilet, Zubero. The area is inside, the perimeter is the outside. I guess this is better. Area is inside, perimeter is... Now, outside, you've got to be careful, but the... Yeah, so the perimeter is the length around the outside of a shape. The area is the space inside the shape, okay? Good, you practiced it, Taylor. I like that. And area. Area is the main... Area is the one we're doing today. So, if it's the area... Oh, I forgot. I completely forgot what I was going to say. It's gone out of my mind. Oh, yeah, that was the question. <laughs> we measure perimeter in whatever unit of measurement the distance in. So it could be in centimeters, meters, millimeters. What's the difference about the way we measure area? Because we don't just measure area in centimeters and meters and kilometers. How do we measure area? There's a slight difference, the measurement for area. Why is the measurement for areas? Ah, very good, Harris, thank you. It's measured in squares, right? You've got to think of it like that. It could be a centimeter square. It could be a meter square. If it was a big area, it could be a kilometer square. If I'm measuring the space of UK, I would do it in kilometer squared. Let me Google this quickly for you. What is the area of the UK? And the area of the UK is... 242,495 kilometers squared, okay? The area is 242,495 kilometers squared. What that means is there are that many square kilometers in Britain. If you were to stretch Britain out and put loads of squares, which were a kilometer by a kilometer, that's how many squares you would have. Quite a big space, isn't it? I bet there are bigger countries. Should we have a look at what is the area of Russia, for example, which is the largest uh, country in the world? The area of Russia compared to Britain. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that. So this shows you how small the UK is. This is the UK at 24,000. This is Russia. Russia is 17.1 million. I'm not even going to write the dots. Kilometers squared. Okay, Britain isn't even isn't even a million. It's only two hundred and forty-two thousand. Russia is over seventeen million kilometers squared. That kind of shows you just how massive Russia is. In fact, you can see it on here. This is little old Britain, nice little island here. And this Russia starts here. Is Russia all the way, all the way around? That is all of Russia. So, my goodness. Area is really, really important. Isn't it amazing that Britain is this small and yet it is still richer and more powerful than Russia, which is that big? Isn't that incredible? So even though we're this tiny, we're still richer and more powerful than a country that is that big. That's because of your education and your brains and our scientists, okay? In Britain, we have a very good education system. Children come out smart. They go into science. They build big companies. They do amazing things and they keep our country strong. Okay, so well done. Or what's the area of the world? It's a really good question. I'm going to find out what's the area of the world. What is the area of the world? Wowzers. So the world, so this is Russia, which is the biggest country. The world is 510.1 million kilometers squared. 510.1 million kilometers squared. Jupiter, and if you tune into Mr. Keeling's one later, no way! I don't know if you can see all the way uh, down here at the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna just bend it down a little bit. I'm about to put in Jupiter's size. Jupiter, which of course is the biggest planet in the solar system, in our solar system, is 61.42 billion kilometers squared. Wowzers, how massive is Jupiter? 61.42 billion. So, wow, 
really big places. Hello, Mr. Jordan. I was late because my sister needed to do her homework. That's okay. It's really nice to see you here. Don't worry. Salah, isn't that amazing? You're saying, yeah, I am, I'm just amazed by that. It's incredible how huge Jupiter is, 61 billion. The world is only 510. So we are half a billion. The world is half a billion kilometers squared. Jupiter is 61 billion. <gasps> Insane. What a huge, huge, huge planet that that is. Right, uh, I'm getting distracted now. I'm going completely off topic. We need to get back to what we were doing. I don't, I don't even know what we were doing. Area. Yes, area is measured in squares. I'll tell you what, this is what I like to do. Let's just test your knowledge. I'm going to do an A, B, C, and D. Let's see if you can get the area of these different shapes for you. So I'm going to pop up some different shapes for you on the board. Uh, important little note, just whilst I'm rubbing out the board, there is going to be no live lesson on Wednesday. So there's no live lesson tomorrow, but it will be back on Thursday and Friday. So tomorrow morning, you'll be doing the normal work on your class page. There'll be no live lesson tomorrow, okay? But there will be one again on um, Thursday and Friday. Right, quick questions for you then. We've got A, B, let's rub that out as well, C, and D. Let's draw our shapes. We've got, uh, I'm going to do two squares. I'm going to do two rectangles. So this is a square, this is a square, this is a rectangle, this is a rectangle. So uh, the shape, this one is four centimeters. This here is five meters. On this rectangle, this here is going to be uh, six. And this here is three centimeters. And on this last rectangle, I've got this here is going to be 20. And this here is going to be 10 uh, meters. Okay, so you've got A, B, C, and D. Can you show me that you understand area, please, and have a little go at each of these? So just to show me that you understand what area is, have a little go at each the, of these. Labib, you wouldn't normally shout yay to no lesson, so don't do it now. It's not a good thing that not having lessons. It's just I've got lots of meetings and important things I need to get to, unfortunately. Okay, A, Ayab is already doing it. Ayab, what a superstar. He's getting on with it, which I really like. Who else is getting on with it? Mohammed Mood has had a go. It's okay, Labib, don't worry. Just reminding me. Just because we're online and typing stuff doesn't mean our etiquette and polite goes out of the window. Aminal, is that Ayan? Uh, what have we got? Four by four is 16 centimeters. Well, then those of you who are doing these, come on, I've got A, B, C, and D. Yeah, well then, Salah, good lad. That's what it's meant to be, good boy. Very good. Some of you are starting to get all of it. You still don't understand, Samuel, about area. Basically, with perimeter, we're adding the length around the outside of the shape. So we add that, 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 and that. That's why we call it perimeter. But area, we need to find the space inside. And what we do is we do length times the width. So if this is a square, let's start with this one. If that's four, well, that must be four. So four times four is 16 centimeters squared. There's gonna be 16 squares in this. Let me just check that on a smaller scale. One, two, one, two, three. Let's see how many squares there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There are sixteen squares. Yeah, because I've got four rows of four. So this one, as a load of you have already answered, this is a square, so it's going to be five times five. Five times five equals twenty-five meters squared. What about this one here? Three by six. Well, six multiplied by three is. 18 centimeters squared, okay? So this is three, I have three squares down here. I have six, lots of three. Three times six is 18. Let's have a look at this last one here. Wow, 20 meters by 10 meters. This is a big area. 20 meters by 10 meters. Well, it's going to be 20 times 10, which equals 200 meters squared. 200 meters squared squared okay you're multiplying the length by the width okay well done those of you who are getting it i'm just checking all of your 
I do have my glasses, Taylor. Good to know. My brain hurts. Alicina, you've not been doing much work. Your brain can't hurt, surely. Samuel, what? Samuel, job for you, okay? I want you to go and research what area it is. In fact, I'll tell you what. I wonder if I ever did a lesson on area. Let's have a little look. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. You see, it helps when you do work. So I have done for you, copy this, a whole video all about area. Okay, I'm going to paste it now. Samuel, your job, and anybody else who wants, I pinned the area video to the top up here. It should pop up to the top. Has it pinned? There it is. Right? You should have an area video up there. When you finish with this video, I want you to click on it and I want you to watch it. I break down area into small steps so that by tomorrow, you're going to be area masters. Okay? So those of you who are still struggling with understanding what area is, I've done a lesson for you. Voila. Go and click on it, and uh, you can find out what to do. C'est pas difficile, okay? Brilliant. Maintenant, uh, oh, what are we going to do now? Let me think. I was going to, i tell you what, let's do our little bit of fun. I was going to do some literacy and some poems. I'll do some separate videos. I'll post them up for you. It's time for us to have a little bit of fun and make a snowflake. So... If you don't have a piece of paper, you can watch to see what's going to happen. I'm just going to remind all of you now um, that uh, there is no live lesson tomorrow in the morning, okay? But there is a live lesson on Thursday and Friday. Make sure you're back for live lessons on Thursday and Friday. There are still normal lessons tomorrow. Do not fool your parents. The lessons are still online for tomorrow. They are still happening. The lessons have not gone. It's just the live lesson that doesn't exist. So I've got to be in some meetings in the morning, okay? Yeah. Uh, Anglesey Primary School is still happening, normal stuff tomorrow. The only difference is that there's just one live lesson missing. But everything else is still there. I'm still going to post a video. Yeah, there'll still be work from me posted onto YouTube. So check it out. It just won't be happening live. Right. I'm not going. Here's a piece of paper. Right. First thing we need to do if we're going to make a snowflake is we need to turn this into a square. Okay? A square. You should remember by now how to make a square. It's really, really easy, but I'm going to just remind you how to make a square. I'm going to take this top corner and I fold it down so that it goes straight along this line, okay? I'm going to be very careful to get this as careful and straight as possible. Take a bit of time, guys. I want you to do this with me. Vous pense que c'est difficile, Sarah? C'est pas, pas difficile. Look at this, okay? Fold this. Like this, so you've got this triangle, okay? This is going to form a right angle triangle. It means that what I've got left is a square because the length of this and this is going to be the same. You can see everything but the mask question. Well, don't worry, table. We're moving on to this. Get your piece of paper. Yeah, fold it like this. Okay, that means that we've now got a square. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this bottom side like of this and I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to fold bottom by this, okay, which means I'm going to be able to tear this bottom part off. So I just need to, once I've folded this bottom part like this, I need to do it very, very carefully. Nahamin, make a snowflake for me. Come on. nahamin has been making so many lovely things at home. He sits there in his throne like a king. Come on, I want you to make a snowflake to decorate your throne with. And I bend that over. Yeah, I'm going to do that again on the other side because I'm going to be just tearing this bottom part up. And you see that I've really tightly folded this bit, okay? So that it's like this, and then it means I can tear this bottom off nice and simply. Now what I'm going to do is just tear along that line, okay? So that's gone. I'm left with, remember that was my piece of paper, taking that part off. I'm now left with... A square. Yeah, very, very good. You're making cake, cup, cupcakes. I can't wait to see a picture. Okay, got my square. Happy? Ava, I hope you're watching. Got square, yes. Snowflake time. Don't forget if you're struggling with area to click on the video to watch it. Don't forget there's no live lesson tomorrow, but it will be a live lesson on Thursday. Don't forget to do the register. Lots of things to remember. Don't forget 3J to go on to Oxford Reading Buddy. My goodness, we can't lose again. We need to beat 3D. They're the masters. 
Yes, Saren. What's up? Oh, we got it. It's a bit blurry. You might need to refresh. Oh, no. The numbers have gone all the way down again. We need to keep those subscribers up, don't we? Right, we've got our square. All right. Those of you who have got to this point and got the square, what we're going to do, we are going to fold it over like this. Actually, I can't remember what we're going to do. Just give me two seconds. I can remember what I'm doing. No, I'm not. Got my square. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. Brilliant. Now, I'm going to fold my square over like this, turn it into a rectangle. Yes, guys, get it up to 1,000 subscribers. You might need to get your friends, get family, get people to subscribe it. We need to keep it above 1,000 for like a month or so, I think, before we can start doing anything with it. I folded it once. Brilliant. I'm going to fold it again. Okay, got my square. I folded once, fold it again. I've now got a mini square. Yeah, should look like this. Hope we're all there. And I'm going to phone message retracted. <laughs> I'm going to fo fold this one more time like this. So I've got this tiny shape. I'm just going to go back and show all those folds. Those of you who got a piece of paper, don't worry. Take your time. I lost the paper. Go and find it. But look, here's my square. I got that square because I tore that bottom part off. Do you remember? I'm going to fold once. Bam. Twice, bam. Three times, bam. There we are. Okay, I'm left with this shape. Now I'm gonna hold one of the bottom corners. It doesn't matter if it's this corner or this corner. Have the flappy bit, the open bit facing out and just hold one of the bottom parts like that. You're gonna need some scissors. I should have told you that earlier, shouldn't I? You're gonna need some scissors. So see if you can ask your parents. If not, don't worry, you can just watch this and you can watch it back later and just copy what I did now. Oh, I'm saying, oh, there's my scissor. And this is what I'm gonna do. And this is the important bit because this is where all the children rush and they go wrong. This is the part that you need to be very, very uh, get right. Very, very get right. Does that make sense? Oh gosh, I can't even speak anymore. Right, do not just make little snips into it. This is what children do. They go snip, snip, snip. That is not going to do anything. You need to cut chunks out of it. So watch, I'm gonna cut into it like this. I'm gonna cut a nice big chunk out. Oh look, big chunk missing. I'm gonna do the same. Ishmael A, stop spamming. Um, I'm gonna put any spammers on a timeout. You've spammed, you're on a timeout. Then we're going to cut in like this. Those of you who want to do it again, all you need to do is just take the, the video and just rewind it back, okay? Just rewind the video back. Simple. Just rewind the video back and you can watch it as many times as you want. It's all there, it's all recorded. Take the bar, rewind it back. I deleted all those messages. I can, I've seen, it's really easy for me to put people on timeout. I just put them on a timeout for 300 seconds. Really easy. Right, now look, I've cut some more. I'm gonna cut all sorts of bits off. I'm cutting a bit off the top. There it is, voila. I'm going to cut a little bit into the side. There we go. Brilliant. I'm going to cut some more stuff off. I want you to stay here as I just cut all these little bits off, cutting a bit out of here, cutting a bit into here. Do you know what? I'm going to make it more exciting. I'm going to cut into my cuts. So look, I'm going to cut up here, cut a little bit out of that. I'm going to cut a little bit into here like this. Very nice. Cutting. Um, I'm going to cut a little bit up here. Ka -choo, ka -choo. Make that, I'm gonna make a little circle. No, I'm gonna make that little shape down there. Um, and finally, one last little cut into here. Okay, I'm sure I should be left with a piece of paper that is well and truly cut out, okay? Not me focusing, I'm focusing. And then, let me get all these bits of paper up here. I, I'm going to open it up. Oh, beautiful shape, symmetrical. Open it up again. Ah, looking fantastic. I... Ah, voila. Oh, c'est magnifique. J'adore. Excellent, non? Voila. What do you think? There you go. Isn't that a lovely little snowflake that we have created? Every single snowflake you create will be unique. 
with lots of differences. Okay, you can make it simple. If you want to know how to do that again, just rewind the video, go back and check what happened. Really, really simple to make a lovely snowflake that you could hang up in your video, in your video, in your window. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. You can hang it up in your window and uh, show it so it looks like the snow is going on forever. Okay, I'd love to see some pictures of the snowflakes that you have created. That would be really, really lovely. Yeah, you just need to go back and rewind the video. That's all you need to do. Remember, it does look like this looks like a sort of evil monster now, doesn't it? Like a wolf or something. Pretty cool, huh? You can make all sorts of things out of this. It just looks like there could be any kind of monster up there. Um, you can make all sorts of different uh, designs. Um, really simple to do. Uh, don't forget to go to Google Classroom to do your register. Don't forget to post your work. Big change now. The school has gone from uh, wanting you to hand in work to demanding you hand in work. So you now need to send in your work, okay? Or what will start happening is you get angry phone calls from people. Yes, the school is tightening up on this. So just be careful. You need to make sure you hand in work each day. Goodbye to anyone who wants to go. Remember, there's no live lesson tomorrow, but they will be back on Thursday, okay? Tell your parents, live lesson on Thursday, 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 and Friday, but not on Wednesday this week, okay? Anybody got any questions for me? You're welcome to go. If you want now, you're welcome to leave. I'm just gonna hang around for anybody's questions. Goodbye to everyone who wants to go. Just rewind the video if you want to see how I made that again, nice and easy. Don't forget to click on the video up here to find out more about area, okay? Anybody got any questions before we go? I'm gonna have a little look. Bye, Shahan, bye Amino, bye Aiden. I have a Burma link. Yeah, go and find out more about Myanmar, or Burma, whatever you want to call it. Um, fantastic. Mr. Jordan, which one is faster, the speed of light or time? Light is way faster than time. Uh, no, sorry. Speed of, oh, I thought you said sound. The speed of light or time. Ah, okay, good question. Um, time is relative. Time goes at different speeds. So light is, time goes at different speeds. Time is relative. If you are in space, for example, your time will be going at a different speed to if you're on Earth. Light is a measurable speed. So it's a very complicated question. Um, time itself is basically a measurement, but that measurement changes depending on where you are. So for example, if you are two people, one person's on Earth, uh, one person is on Earth, here they are, standing on Earth, yeah? And then another person goes in a rocket, uh, up and floats around Earth. If they started at the same time and came back down, the person up in space would be not as old as the person on Earth. So the person on Earth would have aged more. Time would have gone faster for the person down on Earth, okay? It's a very complicated concept, time, and it's something that you'll learn more of later. But time is not a constant. It is different, but different in different places. Um, left click, then right click, then go to website. Attic, you just, you focus on yourself. I am stuck. Mustafa Khalid, how are you stuck? Bye everyone, if you want to go, that's absolutely fine. Thank you, Mr. Jordan Sultan Sanja. lovely to see you again. Bye to everybody, if you wanna go. Uh, Yusuf M, I will be calling you. Totally unacceptable language there. Uh, leaving here, goodbye anybody. Has anyone else got any more questions for me? Go and register yourself on the Google Classroom page. Um, go and, uh, yeah, that you're welcome. I'll see you again on Thursday, okay? Remember Thursday, 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 Thursday. I will see you on Thursday. Don't forget, there's all the rest of the work on the normal class page. Go and check it out. English, maths, everything else. Bye, Arhil. Bye, everybody. No more questions, so I'm going to go. See ya.